Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, moving on, I want to point out a few more things that we can do. Which we've already done, which is weird. But anyway, as adult Link, we can actually go up this uh, stack of wood here. Which allows us to actually reach through the ground there and actually access this cow and the piece of heart. If we didn't get it from doing the owl. Alternately, I believe though... If I'm not mistaken, no, I might be. Might need to get into a better position first. Hang on. Alternately, I think that if we go up here, we can actually use the hook shot to grapple to the rooftops, which is how you're supposed to get the guy on the roof over there. But also, it allows us to go up here and so we can actually get to the cow that way but why would we when we can do it either of the one of the other two ways so now let me just quickly change it to night time just because I feel like I'm crazy and there's actually a sculptor here I'm gonna get teleport get teleported down but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth checking I can hear it so it must be I need to go around there just do what I just did. But we are going to need to head back into the graveyard and do that again with Dompe. Okay, please, maybe. There we go. So let's get this Skulltula. Which I believe is only takes one shot with the hook shot now, so that's actually a lot better than the boomerang. It's also a lot more specific because you can actually just aim without having to let go of the stick. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to the graveyard. My favorite trilogy of movies, Back to the Graveyard. I don't know if that's actually a movie name though. <laughs> That'd be funny. But anyway... Um, let's quickly check Dompe's hut over here. Because we can actually go in here now. I think you can only get in here in the future, possibly. The Gravekeeper's Diary is here. Do you want to read it? Sure. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you have my uh, stretching, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you, Dompe. Or we already did that, but it's interesting that that's there. But anyway, I want to go into this grave. Also, with the beam plants that make platforms that fly around, it allows you to go up Death Mountain using the one on Dodongo's Mountain. The, 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 ah! On Death Mountain, at the Dodongo's Cavern entrance. Uh, that's also how you're supposed to get the piece of heart on top of Dodongo's Cavern. Hey, 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 young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it. Okay. Follow me if you dare. So we can't get, we can't get hit by any of the fire at all, otherwise we'll lose. There are also torches here, so if you have luck, you can actually get up here faster. <laughs> With the hookshot, because you can hookshot to the the things. Uh, was the present I gave to you fun and useful? Yes it was. Well, he just gives us a 20 rupee. Now where's this door? I feel like, if I'm good enough, I can actually block myself in here by ju side jumping in and out, so it closes the door behind me. And it resets the room for me, so. Also, I guess it is technically faster to go down the left path, because you're cutting a, cutting a little bit of extra edge, I guess. Okay, I have a little bit more time than I had last time. That's still not a ton. Go 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 no no I failed by a second. He kind of throws it where you're going to be. Ow. 
Oh my goodness, please. Ah. There's so many corners. And he just throws it around the corner so you can't see where it is. And it kind of moves in even after he's thrown it as well. Please, oh 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 please, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think that one bit where he got me is gonna mess everything up. Actually, maybe, 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 oh my goodness, please tell me that's enough. Please tell me that's close enough. Dumpe's ghost. That's the ghost of the dead gravekeeper. I if you chase him, he might give you his keepsake. Okay, that's interesting. The time of this race was one minute. You're back, young man. Was the present I gave you for fun and useful? Was that- Oh, it was good enough. Cool. For getting a minute flat or under, we get a piece of heart and we we've completed another heart container. So there we go. It's everything we need to do here. And now, we need to head- to the, the Kokiri Forest, which is interesting because we don't have, like in the future, as Adult Link, whenever you save and quit, it doesn't take you to uh, the Kokiri Forest. It doesn't take you back to Link's house. It actually takes you to the Temple of Time, which means that we have to actually do a little bit of walking to get back to the Kokiri Forest. I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Saria, too. I also want to enter the Kokiri Forest at night if I can. Which is a little bit of a weird thing to say. But I want it. Let's go in. The first real difference, obviously, is that there are gigantic, uh, big Dekubabas here, and a couple of other enemies around. Hit it when it lunges at you, and it will stand straight up, upright. Cut out quickly to get a Deku Stick. If we don't kill it in its upright position, though, it will give us a couple of Deku Nuts as well. So, it's just, this is just completely different to what we're used to at this point. But anyway, if we go into this house over here... Since we didn't get these treasure chests when we were young, Link, let's get these now. And am I wrong about this? I might be wrong about this. I thought that these was actually increased in uh, how, how much worth they were. Oh, I guess it is a little bit more. It's a little bit more rupees if you get it as adult Link, but it's not a ton more. I think. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's head on out again. Trying to avoid all the enemies that are attacking me. We also can't go into the Great Deku Tree as Adult Link. So that's important to keep in mind. There is, however, over here... A Skultler on top of the Twins' house. So let's grab that. Please, thank you. And the bean plant that we planted over here has grown, of course. And if we use it, we get a few r extra rupees, which is not really that worth it. Also, this is not the way I thought it was going to take me. <laughs> but I need the rupees. I was going to get the rupees. Where am I Where am I going? Just around town, apparently. Just passing through. All of the Kokiri are still here, though, I'm pretty sure, inside the buildings. Okay, up here again, and then let's jump off to get these rupees up here. Just a 20 and a couple of ones. But anyway, also these signs must be a lot bigger than they were when we were Child Link. Same with the rocks, probably, as well. 
and the rupees. I wonder how it scales everything. But anyway, let's head to the Lost Woods. Because that's, I believe, where we're supposed to be going right now. Uh, but while we're here, we can also play over at this Gossip Stone. No, hang on. We can play the Song of Storms. And it'll open a grotto for us, which is not necessary, obviously. But it, it's here, and we get uh, rupees for it. Also, if we destroy, we can actually destroy these hives now using the hookshot. Please. Thank you. I think sometimes they can give you a red rupee, but not often. This is a red rupee in the chest, though, so. Let's get out of here. Now, the biggest change since we've been, I guess it's not the biggest change, but now that we're seven years in the future, oh, is he not here? He's not here, okay. The Skull Kid's not here, at least. Uh, I'm gonna come back to that then, later, I guess. The Skull Kid is supposed to be there at some point, though, just not right now. But. Whenever the Skull Kid is there, he's going to be like these two and it, um, Skull Kids down here. Who aren't here? Wait, they're just not here. What? Am I crazy? Hang on, let me make it daytime. I feel like I'm confused for some reason. But I think, I think it's because I entered at night. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you're incubating. It's a miracle of life. Nope, it's still the same. Never mind then. Well, anyway, we need to head through this fairly normally. I wonder if I've made a mistake. I, wa I wonder, I wonder. Oh, hello. What are you? Though you wear Kakirish clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Saria I would never let anybody go through here. Okay, then. Uh, also, is this... Nothing? Okay. Well, let me play the Song of Time here, next to this spot where Navi's turning green. Because I believe if I play the Song of Time here, if I'm not mistaken, because I think it could be a different song, possibly. Oh, it is a different song. Because whenever Navi goes to one of these spots just randomly where there's nothing and turns green, if you play the right song, which I'm struggling to do right now, it might be Song of Storms? I don't think it can be Sun Song since that just changes the time of day. If you get it, the right song, it actually spawns in this thing, which is kind of like a fairy spirit, but it refills your magic and your hearts to full. You can't put it in a bottle, I don't think. But anyway, let's play Saru's song for this guy. That melody! Saria plays that song all the time. You, do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. So he still remembers us, but doesn't actually remember that we are us. Which is fine by me. But anyway, also, over here, I might have made a mistake by making it daytime. So I'm gonna... Oh, there's, there's no hole here anymore, is there? No. I don't really want to go through the whole woods again, but that's okay. I need this. Let's make it nighttime. Since I'm just all over the place right now. I also want to ch double check one other thing. Now that it's night time again. Because I'm not entirely sure. But there is another bean plant over here that we planted. If we use this, I guess it allows us to get out of the Lost Woods faster, maybe? By jumping off of here. Since the rope breach would normally be in the way. I, 
thought there was another sculpture over here, but no, there is not. It's good to know. Good to make sure. Just checking. Uh, but anyway, let's go back through the woods, back to the one other bean plant that we planted. This is a really cool place. I know it's not that extremely crazy design, but it's it's cool. It works really well for the Lost Woods. Also, the music is just incredible. Okay, so if we take the bean plant over here now, we can already hear what our goal is over here. And that is this gold sculptor that's up here. Most of the bean plants don't need to be used, like planted in. But you will still need to get all the sculptures out of the soft soil. Uh, but some of the some of the bean plants are useful for skull, gold sculptures, so. But anyway, let's head into the deeper woods. The sacred forest meadow. And now, from here on, we'll be heading through some narrow part passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use the targeting to always look in the proper direction. Set your view so you can see down the next corridor before you tr turn a corner. Once your view is set, hold down Z to sidestep around the corner. That way you won't be surprised by the enemy by an enemy waiting in ambush. So yes, if we look down this way, we can see these enemies here now. Which will charge at you if they see you. But if you hit them with your hookshot, they'll just die. Just like that. There are quite a few of them though, so I'd like to avoid them if I can. And I don't know if I can or not. Okay, it's not gonna do that maybe? Hang on. From here, when Navi goes up there. No. Thought I could do that now, but I guess not. I could possibly, though. No, that's gonna take too long. Oh, but I want it. I'll be back. So we actually want to head over to Lake Hylia again. Which is, is an interesting decision I'm making right now. But I want it, so I'm gonna do it. There's also a few other grottos along the way that I can also check out. I don't think I have anything of value inside of them. But I can still check them, so why not? The first one is way over this way, I believe. In the middle of these trees somewhere. There's a rock, and I want to blow up that rock. We can also still use bomb trees, which is nice, because that will help out. We're getting this rock open, probably. As long as it doesn't explode before it reaches there. Oh, it's so close as well. Anyway, let's blow up this rock and we can head into this grotto. Just a regular grotto. Probably not even that great of a rupee. Since it's just out in the middle of nowhere. No, it's a red rupee. That's pretty good. Head on out again. I want to keep heading over in this direction, though. And actually, it might have been a good idea to go this way. Which is strange to say. Also, after we get our 11th heart, it starts a second row underneath the first row of hearts. Now, there should just be a grotto right down here that we can go into. It's actually also a good thing that I'm getting rupees as well. Not that we need this many rupees right now. Or for a long while. But there we go. Now, right in the middle of this area over here, if we blow up a bomb, we can go into this grotto here. And there is a single Deku Scrub. Which we can return its 
shot into. Also, murky water. I wonder if... I wonder if this is another one of those fairy spirit things. Nope. It's wanting a song because it's making the correct sounds. But anyway, I want to talk to Saria right now as well. Link, is this Saria? Can you hear me? Great, you're safe. I knew I would hear from you again. I'm in the forest temple. The forest spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. But it's full of evil monsters. Help me, Link. Do you want to talk to Saria again? No, I don't. Okay, no. Also, I don't think it's working because Navi's doing her own thing. Anyway. Alright, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece, ten rupees. It is. Only ten rupees for a piece of heart. But there we go. Just like that. I don't know what Navi's trying to point out here. Anyway. Because I thought it might have been one of the fairy spirit type things, but nope. But anyway, let's actually head into Lake Hylia now, since that's where I was trying to go. Let's do that. Okay. Also, the lake is slightly, slightly drained from when we were here seven years ago. And now I'm going to get distracted by other things that I wasn't actually coming here to get. Oh my goodness, it's so drained. There's a little bit of water in there. But anyway, let's use this bean plant, which will allow us to go up here. Uh, well, actually, it allows us to do a couple of things. It allows us to go up here. Or we can go over to the fishing spot over there. Uh, but I actually want to talk to this scarecrow here. I'm Bonoro, Uru, the Scarecrow musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Hang on. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. I'm extremely confused right now. Also, there are Tektites around here now. So I've made a big mistake. So when you when we came here the first time, you're supposed to play the song that we played, which was a scale, to this one. This Scarecrow, not the other one. And then you come here again as an adult and play the song to him again. And then you'll get a special prize, which would have been extremely helpful. Because... Whenever we play it for him in certain locations, like over by this roof, he will actually have his friend Pierre appear, who we can actually hookshot to, which will allow us to get this without the bean here. But this also allows us to actually skip a lot of the stuff in the Lost Woods that I was trying to. With those enemy, with the new enemies, we could actually skip past those as well. But because I've made an absolutely huge mistake, it's. I can't do that now. But anyway, if this thing would come back, please. Also, these... These crow things are really annoying. That's all I have to really say about them, is they're annoying. Okay, let's head up. Because you can see that Navi goes over here to highlight that you can use summon Pierre here using the song that you play. But if we go up here, we get another piece of heart. Now back to the Lost Woods. So you can see when Navi goes up there, that's where Pierre appears. But anyway, I have to guess I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. But I wanted to double-check something, because what happens if I use Din's Fire? Nothing. Also, I'm pretty sure I can just slash him if he's close enough. They have basically no health, so... It makes it a lot easier, at least, so... 
Now, I don't remember if I can actually stand here and be safe or not. Oh. No oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I need to not be in an animation, please. At least I got to see forward from this point on. Okay, I need him closer. I can hear the gossip stone spinning. Come on. Just a little bit closer now. Oh, really? Oh, really? There we go. It, these enemies are just terrifying if they charge at you, though. Really terrifying. The most terrifying. Oh, maybe. Also, you can kind of use the hookshot in... Oh. In... Ta is he targeting mode? Which is helpful somewhat. But come on. This enemy is not... It was, I wasn't trying to move while using the hookshot. I was just trying to aim. It did not work out. This is a lot of waiting, basically, if you don't use have Pierre. Too much defense stuff blocking my attacks. Take that. Very nice. Okay, that means I... I'm not really safe going through here because there's a second one on the other side of the thing here. We're just gonna make this a little bit interesting. Ah, uh, because I think he's opposite. Oh, hang on, he's not there. This is good, this is good. I need to get this ladder before he comes around the corner again. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to get right now is this sculptor up here. This is why I wanted it to be night in here as well. So let's grab that. Very nice. Now, how many is that? How many does that make? 47. Very nice. Okay, one last guy here, which we need to change lanes whenever he hits the ground, basically. Just walk past him and hit him. Just like that. He, he takes a few hits, but he always drops red rupees, so that's good. Oh, maybe blue rupee. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We are maxed out anyway, so it doesn't matter. The flow of the of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different from for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minuet of forest. You have learned the Minuet of Forest. Link, I'll see you again. So this song, which is a special song because it's green on the menu here, and on this bottom row, the Minuet of the Forest allows us to actually get around the world even easier than we could before, because now, if we play it, we can do this from anywhere in the world as long as it's outside, I'm pretty sure, possibly. Maybe not every time, but we can warp to the Lost Woods. So this means we can get around the world a lot faster if we're not in the Lost Woods 
to get back to the Lost Woods right here in the Sacred Forest me Meadow. So there we go. That's going to be very helpful in future. But now, let's hook shot up to this tree here, if I can. And let's go in. To the Forest Temple. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Hey, it's Future Me again. And uh, I was supposed to talk to the second Scarecrow, the one that's close to the water, as Child Link. So I've, d I've done this after the dungeon now. Uh, but, yeah. So let's go ahead and do this. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you play it? Leave me a lair tune on me, baby. And so let's go ahead and play the scale. Just a little bit after the second one. Well, not bad. I will remember it for you anyway. I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. Hey, baby, I'm Bonoru, the Scarecrow. You've probably heard about my fantastic memory. If you have a new tune to play, blow it. This is the song you tooted last time, baby. Hit it. So it also shows us what tune we played last time, so we can actually remember it if we need to. But we can also bring out Ocarina again to actually play it again and change it if we want to, so. And so coming back as an adult, we want to play the song again for the same Scarecrow. Hey, it's the Ocarina! Play that song with it, baby! Again, you can set this to whatever you want, but it's it's convenient to set it as a scale. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the tune. You rock. I'm blown away. Oh no no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he is nearby. And here's that song, baby. So now, we can go to places where Navi uh, flies away and turns green. And we can play that song, and then we can use Pierre as a way to get around. Also, in the future, Lake Kali is uh, instant shortcut to Lake... Um, to Zora's Domain is blocked off, so we can't take that. Uh, but anyway, let's go over to this house over here since we can actually show how it works. Just play the song. And there he is. We're, now we can hookshot to him. It's a little bit difficult to hookshot him at, in this specific place because um, he's a little bit far away, so you have to be close to the house, and but not too close, otherwise you can't see him. It's probably easier to just use the beans, but also if you don't want to get any of the beans, because I don't think they're required. Possibly required, I don't know. But you don't have to get all of them, at least, if you just do it like that. And now back at the Sacred Forest Meadow, which, this is what I wanted to do. We can play a song over here. To summon Pierre. Which means that we can basically skip most of the enemies here. Just like that. We just go up there, and we can just jump over all the... ...enemies. Except for the last one at the end, which we need to take out anyway, so... But anyway, that's me from the future, so I'll see you all next time.